All right, so, hey YouTube. I've just been watching a lot of videos and following some channels lately where people are, people are kind of showing their rigs, whether it be, you know, travel trailers or their vans or their truck campers that they, that they full time in. So I just thought that I'd make a little video and show you mine. So this is a 28 foot Skyline Aljo. Um, I purchased it off of Kijiji from a couple in Digby. I'm in Nova Scotia, Canada, by the way. So I purchased it from them in January and we drove it out up here about an hour and a half, two hours. So yeah, I've been full-timing in this thing since the end of March of this year, 2017. And let's do a quick tour on the outside, I guess. So, get the big window in the front there, two doors. Just have a mat down and have it up on blocks and stuff to keep it level. Just have my hammock over there, fire pit over there. Just ignore the uh, beverage containers hanging from the trees. We kind of shoot at those with the BB guns sometimes. So yeah, in behind here, I have a hatch. Um, that's for storage. It goes directly under the bed in the bedroom there. And uh, there's a hot water tank in there, in that corner. And there's the pump in there as well. So if I need to get at, get at that. And then the uh, fresh water tank is in there too. So when I'm filling it up, I can kind of just open that hatch and keep an eye on it and see how full it's getting. This is my setup for water right now. <laughs> I just kind of have that big barrel up there. And I have a hose coming down from that, which I can kind of plug right in here to fill my water up. So if I climb up this ladder, I want to fill that up. I'm just going to kind of grab this nozzle and open it up to let the water, to release the water. And so this is the back side. I have a slide out. Um, that pretty much just, the slide out pretty much holds the, the coach that's in the camper. There's another hatch that goes directly underneath the coach. I have some, some things stored under there. And I just kind of keep my generator under there. Um, I just kind of put a Rubbermaid container over it to keep it out of the rain and stuff. Propane tanks. And I have some, pretty much just my chives that grew. Those were supposed to be oh, green peppers or something, but they didn't do so well. Yeah, and the window in the front. My batteries here. I have two batteries. I have the camper hooked up to two batteries um, right now. I will hook up all three at some point when I get them all charged together and stuff. So yeah, and I'll take you inside. So when you first step inside the camper, you pretty much just see my, I guess they call it a jackknife sofa. Um, it it folds down into a bed. Um, I don't think it, it's fully like a double bed or anything like that, but it hopefully comfortably sleeps two people. It seems to that it would hold two people. And then kind of underneath, I just have storage, my water containers, recyclables, laundry usually goes there in the center, but I'm, I'm doing my laundry right now, so. And then I have some wood and some kindling in a box there because I had a wood stove installed just recently. I still have to put some metal just up on my ceiling there to protect it some from the heat. But yeah, that's going to help a lot. We still haven't figured out if we're going to stay here for the winter or not. But now that that's in, that can definitely be an option. Um, yeah, I just have an ottoman here, which is great for storage. It holds holds some of our stuff. And all the cupboards here have the mirrors. They did have this um, 
frosted, I don't know, etching or something on all of them and it looked pretty, <laughs> pretty dated and horrible so I took a glass scraper and, and cleaned it all off. And you know some people remove the mirrors completely but I, I'm gonna leave them because they have that effect where it kind of makes a space look larger than it is. And in a small space like that it's almost like you, you know, you'd want to have that. Um, but yeah, there's just the, the wood grain. I haven't painted any of these yet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, but I might to brighten it up in here, I suppose, at some point. Yeah, I just have stools. This actually, this area um, used to be the dinette, and that was one of the first things I did was remove that because I knew I wanted to put a wood stove in here. Yeah, there's two cats in here also. <laughs> I'll get them in. Um, this is actually like kind of their their perch area. They love this bed saying, uh, just kind of laying around there in the sun and the scratching post. And this is an old TV stand that I turned into a hidden litter box area. So I took a jigsaw and cut out this little door for them. And then these doors open up and their litter box is right inside there. So I can just haul it out and scoop it and throw it back in there and close up the doors and we're good to go. So anyway, then you point this way. My fridge is here. Um, it's your typical camper size fridge. It's small, but you know, it holds a little bit of food. We don't normally get like two weeks worth of groceries or anything because it, the camper simply can't hold that much food, but you know, four or five days worth of food or so. I won't open it up because God knows what it looks like in there. Um, but yeah, this is the kitchen area. Cupboards up there. The microwave space. Um, this actually came with a very big dinosaur microwave that I took. A, it worked, but I took it out because um, I just wanted to free up some space. So I put a smaller microwave in there and now I have some space kind of in and around it for other things. So then I just have a three burner stove, an oven. I just have my um, lighters kind of hanging there right now. Double sink. There's a little um, spice area I guess in there. Pots and pans and stuff I keep in there and utensils down here. Um, you know, plates, bowls, and, and glasses and stuff like that up there. But yeah, I have a double sink and I just have a small little dish rack in here, which obviously you can see my dishes, my clean dishes are in and uh, just like a dish pan on this side. And I do actually have this thing right here actually um, fits right over one of my sinks. I just heard that the pump was on. Um, this thing here fits right over one of my sinks so I can kind of use that as a a prep space I guess for cutting up vegetables and things like that. And then right across from the the oven and the stove is my bathroom. But I will say that one downfall I think to this trailer is definite definitely the the fact that the kitchen is pretty much like right in the hall you can see. So when I'm using the oven I'm pretty much sticking my ass in the in the bathroom you know to open it up and bend down and look in there because there's just not enough space so if I had it my way you know I would have preferred to have a kitchen kind of in the front and I mean that's something I can take into consideration if I end up buying another rig at some point but yeah I'll show you the bathroom another mirror this is kind of a a little pantry for food so the bathroom it's pretty standard for oh hey <laughs> it's pretty standard for your camper bathroom um there's kind of like a it's kind of a bathtub shower area and you know your sink and your toilet in the medicine cabinet I just added a couple of shelves in there um, for extra space. 
I put a shelf here just to put toilet paper on. So that works. And then vent up there with a fan, you know, skylight. Well, that sort of thing. So that's the bathroom. Hopefully it's not um, too dark in here. It's pretty sunny outside. And here's um, just a closet that I keep shoes and cleaning supplies and jackets and things like that in there. And then the bedroom, there's the second door. Um, I still have to, I'm, I've kind of made my own curtains. They're kind of a, a fish pattern. So I have to make another curtain for this window here. But yeah, here's the bed. And the other window. And right there, those are just kind of closets. And up there is storage for more for more clothes. And yeah, this is kind of a shelf. It's a mirror that folds down to be a shelf, sort of. I just have a bunch of stuff on there right now. But yeah, I think that pretty much completes my tour of the camper. Um, so what I'll probably end up doing, guys, I know I showed you my water barrel out back there so I think I might actually make another video and post that because it's really kind of an interesting process how I how I get water in into that thing so yeah if you like this video um great hopefully I'll catch you on the next one I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna post a video at some point of me putting water in that water barrel um so if you'd like to see that then stay tuned all right peace